the family study uh, gives you a good way to look at diversity and severity of illness. And in particular, what you see in a family study is that some people have some features of an illness or an inherited disease and others don't. Um, and you get a sense of how severe the disease is across the spectrum because most medical records or medical reports will be about more severe disease. But in a family, you see the less severely affected individuals. And it also, in rare diseases, it takes a sizable study to get a sense of what the frequency of conditions are. Are they happen with almost everybody or just a few? The point of the paper is that not everybody has equally severe symptoms. Um, and I think it's important to think of the condition as an accumulation of problems over the lifetime of the patient. So in the beginning, some patients have congenital abnormalities. They affect the heart and the kidneys most commonly. With time in young children, particularly you have recurrent respiratory infections, and particularly infections in involving the middle ear or otitis media. Otitis media, when it's severe and recurrent, leads to damage to the tympanic membrane, so that over time, people with Wim syndrome lose their hearing. Children are born, I believe, with normal hearing, but it accumulation of these recurrent infections that leads to a functional loss, so that young adults either have hearing loss or may need a hearing aid, and later in life they may be deaf. The other problem with we've, that is involved in the common name for this condition, Wim syndrome, are the warts. They're present in a few young children, but over time they tend to accumulate and they seem to never go away. And then a, another feature is the complication for women of uh, the HPV virus affecting the uh, vagina and, and the cervix. And there the infection that occurs early on tends to persist. And so the consequence, consequence is cervical cancer, which again, you can't get rid of. You can't get rid of the virus, you can't get rid of the risk, and eventually you may not be able to get over the disease. So those are three examples of accumulation of problems over a lifetime. The fourth is the respiratory tree. It's common for WIMS patients to have lower respiratory infections also. And so they get cough, or they may get symptoms suggesting asthma, and then over time they get uh, infections of the lower respiratory tract as a complication of bacterial infections, and they get bronchiectasis, and then over time they get respiratory insufficiency. So that's a pathway of accumulation of problems secondary to the respiratory tract infections. So uh, if you looked at it, as something you might have, you wish you could get over it quicker and sooner and not have this accumulation of lifelong health problems.